Spectra Layers Pro 3 gives you the fantastic ability to unmix audio files into their original component parts. And I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. Listen to this groove. Okay, let's get started. Over here on the left, I am going to use the frequency selection tool to extract all of the low end content in this clip. As you can see, I'm selecting it all in one swipe. It's super easy. Next, I'll go up top to the cut tool, use it, and perform layer new, command V, and that low end content shows up on its own individual layer. Very good. Next step, let's go back to the original source material and pull out those back beats. For this job, I'm going to use the harmonics selection tool. When I balance the tool over a fundamental drum hit, it selects that tone and it reaches upward sort of intelligently and takes the overarching harmonic overtone series. Four clicks later, I have my four backbeats selected, same drill. Cut, layer, new, command V, brings it into its own unique layer. Now I have two layers here, the bass and the backbeat. Let's do one last thing. We'll go back to the original source material and grab some of that nice atmospheric haze sound. And for that, we're going to use the frequency range selection tool, which is really easy to do. I can just drag it over a nice portion of that hazy sound, select it. I can audition my selection with the space bar. And if I like it, which I do, I can cut it, layer new, command V, and now that material lives on its own color-coded layer. Here are the three layers that I have created out of the original source material. And these layers can be rendered, mixed, remixed in any way that you like. And in case you're interested, we can have a listen to what's left of the original source material, which is also there to be manipulated. I'm sure we could dig a few things out of there and uh, make use of them. And this is how you deconstruct sound in Spectralayers Pro 3.